In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the most simple route combinations in Madden 21, but I'm going to be breaking down why it is effective, how it's effective from one of the best formations in the game, how you can use it in your own offense, and a little quick pro tip along the way. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now if you've never been a part of my channel before, my channel focuses on helping people get better at Madden NFL 21 through tips and tricks videos like this one where we basically give you food to chew on, something to think about, something maybe a route combination to use um, against a specific coverage, maybe a defensive coverage to use, maybe a defensive blitz to use or run defense, all that kind of stuff. So um, if that's something that you're interested in, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, I am in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook today, and I'm talking about the gun bunch offset. Now, this is one of the best formations in Madden 21. It has probably some of the best route combinations that you can possibly create. Um, we saw Young Kib use this offense uh, really well for the most part of this game against Decroft. His red zone offense wasn't really that great, um, and Decroft just shut him down in the red zone. But um, his 20-20 to 20 offense uh, was really, really phenomenal. So we're going to go over gun bunch offset. And the route combination we're going to talk about today is the play Flood. Now, Flood looks like a very simple play. In fact, it is a very simple play. Um, it's just a, it's just that. It's just a Flood concept um, to the right side of the screen. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to come out in a basic, um, we're going to start in man, and then we're going to work our way through most of the coverages in Madden. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what they're going to have to do to be able to stop this play. Now, what I would highly encourage you to do is if they, if you have a slot matic or a good route running receiver, put him in this position right here, um, especially when you're running this specific play. If you have a route apprentice or any route chemistries, um, it can make this play very, very good. I would You can basically use some flipping tips and tricks um, from this to be able to create different routes to your players. But we're going to go over the basic um, play. This is one of the plays that literally I don't think you have to do one hot route at all. If you were going to do one hot route, it would be to put your running back on a shoot flat route. But literally, you see people all the time just quick snap this play. Um, this little quick read to the tight end is actually not terrible. Um, I do want to talk about that real quick. If you're seeing man-to-man, -man, I can't tell you how many times I've thrown that flat route as I'm basically missing the read um, against man-to-man, -man, and it's not like going to pick or nothing. He's just going to get you know a couple yards. He might drop it, but that route is fairly safe. Uh, for your offense so your first read is the quick flat now if he's not open if they're in man-to-man -man coverage you're going to low ball this little out route the reason you're going to low ball this out route is because um let's say they're running like purple zones or something like that then this this out route for whatever reason and i don't know what it is this year about these out routes but these like 15 yard out routes from plays like this just torch man-to-man -man, especially if you have a slot matic uh, corner. So what we're going to do real quickly is we're going to run the meta man to man. So we're going to basically drop our purple zones out there. And this is why you're going to low ball. So I'm shading coverage over top, of course. Um, and what you're going to see here is I'm going to low ball this and I can fit this in to that little pocket right there because the flat route is going to basically pull the uh, zones to the outside. And so because of that, it's going to leave a little window of opportunity for me to hit that low ball out route. This is only if they don't press. So like right here, okay, I know it's man, and I can hit that little low ball out route right in that little pocket right there. Now on the back side of the play, um, you have one of the best routes in Madden 21, in my personal opinion, and that is the 15-yard dig. As you can see, those dig routes just do so well at getting separation against man-to-man -man coverage. They do great against the zone as well. Um, this is reminiscent of the deep corner play from last year uh, from Gun Bunch. Uh, you have that same basic concept. The only thing you don't have is a post over top, but if you have a route apprentice, you can obviously do that um, if you'd like to. But as you can see, this thing is just going to simply torch. It's not a 10-yard out or 10-yard dig. It's about a 13-yard dig, so it's a little bit deeper. It gets over every zone of the game unless they drop their zones back. And if they drop their zone back, they're going to be um, facing a lot of issues with the rest of the play. Now what I want to do is I want to go through some of the basic coverages that you're going to face. So let's say you face like a cover three. This is where you're reading that flat. 
if this flat is open, take it every single time. And even though they patch the air truck animation, you can still truck, um, especially if you have like a Gronkowski or, you know, maybe you have a Darren Waller and Mutt. You can hit this and then just truck him up the field. Um, that was pretty bad stick work there, but basically you get the idea. And if you practice this a little bit, you'll learn how to do this. But just quick flat here, click, and then you're just trucking. You're just kind of steering him up the field so that you, instead of having to basically manually do it, you're allowing that trucking animation to do it for you. And as you can see here, I mean, even like I said, even when they're manned up, he's not that bad. Now, let's say you miss a read. Let's say he's in cover two hard flats and you throw this out there. As you can see, um, sometimes you'll break a tackle. Sometimes you'll get out of it. It's, an, it's a very simple route. And in my opinion, it's very hard to get a pick on. Um, I've thrown this route. I've made the incorrect read. And what you'll see here is if you if you mess up, just secure catch it or aggressive catch it. And that's actually been fairly okay for me. Um, as you can see, the, the snap throws from this play are just amazing. Um, and real quick, let me show you this. Cover three. So we're going to go hard flats on this. And I just want to show you this tight end route really quickly. So I'm just going to make the wrong read on purpose. And you see he's still able to get out there. He's still able to get six yards. That's cover three hard flats. Um, let me go over cover four. And we're going to put a hard flat from that slot corner. Uh, and what you'll see is this little hard flat. Um, there we, he was able to get the pick part of it was because I didn't aggressive catch But if you agree if you make the wrong read I would highly encourage you just to try to make that aggressive catch You'll find that that aggressive catch will bail you out like right there. That'll bail you out So okay, you get you know negative one yard and then you start over like it's not a big deal But at least you're not throwing an interception now obviously the better thing to do is when they have hard flats on the play you're gonna let that flood or that out route and what's cool about that out route, in my opinion, as opposed to the corner route that we normally have, is it's a little bit of a delay read. So what that basically means is it'll be open in multiple windows because it's going to run against the zone. And as you can see here, if they're running hard flats, you can hit that out route as soon as he uh, gets clear of the hook curl uh, zone that he might be facing. So the next read on this, and we're going to show you cover three cloud. You'll see people will do that from time to time. Now, when they run that, something like that, you see how I can pass lead up the out route against the cover two? That, to me, is what makes this really, really powerful. So, against cover two, because the vert hooks are going to oftentimes sit low, you can actually, uh, and I'm sorry, not against cover two, against cover three cloud. Let me show you the zones really quickly um, from cover three cloud. So, you see cover three cloud, we have a cloud flat. And we have a hook curl on that right side. Now, if that hook curl was in a vertical hook, um, it would not be as open. But because it's in a hook curl, he's going to drop to the middle of the field over that in route. I can pass lead this up, that route up. And you see it gets a, it kind of gets above the cloud flats a little bit. Now, when I go to cover two, you'll see the same coverage. The only difference is now it's a vert hook. And you'll see that vert hook will kind of sit there a little bit better. Uh, good old practice mode with the super sheds. Um, let me show you this real quick. And this is a play, like I said, you want to be quick snapping this play. You want to play fast when you run this play. As you can see there, cover two. There's a window to hit this route, but it's it's a little bit tight. It's definitely a little bit of a tight window um, against that cover two. But what you'll see here, right there, and you can kind of sneak that in. Um, because the vert hook oftentimes won't go back far enough. Now, one thing you can do with this is you can take that right side guy and just put him on a little hitch route. You'll, I find that that hitch route does really, really well because, because the deep blue zones aren't necessarily – because he's on an out route, the deep blue zones really don't play it. So, like, for example, if he's in cover four – let me reset the play here – and I put Brown on a hitch, right? I'm just putting a simple hitch route right here. Uh, unless he's in cover four, but he's going to play hard flats. I can still fit this route in to Godwin. You see, there's no problem with that. The deep zones don't come down on the ball like they would if it was like a corner route. That means that you can do some of these basic little tactics to really begin to pin and pull um, the zones within the defense. And from cover two, this thing makes it, I mean, this, this little adjustment right here really takes care of the vertical hook zones, which um, are the only zone, in my opinion, that would cause you any issue. So you can you can feel confident in putting this hitch out there, knowing your flood's not going to be messed up. If anything, it's going to make it a little bit better. You see the vert hook's going to sit, and I can hit the out route against it. So that's if there was a couple of adjustments that I would make to this, it would be that. But 
you obviously lose lose your deep integrity um, in case they you know throw a bunch of underneath coverages on that side of the field. Now on the left side of the field, you have one of the best route combinations in the game. If they don't hard flat on that left side, take your running back flat route. That running back flat route, in my opinion, and that's why bunch to me is such a powerful formation because you can hit um, if you if you can understand how to take your flats. Okay, if you can understand how to take your flats, you'll never lose in gun bunch. Even if you're only taking them for four to five yards, the running back shoot flat. Most of you have a backfield master if you're playing mutt. If you're not playing mutt, then you can just put him on a wheel route. It's fine. It's not that big of a. I mean, it's a it's a difference, but it's not that big of a difference. But the basic principle is take your flat routes. Now this deep dig route, as you can see, is going to get over every single yellow zone in the game unless they drop it back to. Um, 15 yards so they have to drop their hook zones back which they're not going to do that because if they do that then they're going to be you know just torn apart underneath but those hook curls will get open now one thing i would recommend you try um, if you wanted to throw the hook route a little bit more what you can do is you can throw your running back on different routes especially if you have backfield master you can throw them on a ghost route and you'll see that you see that pulls the hook curls down do you see that um that Devin White on that play, and let me just show you really quickly an instant replay. When ghost routes to the back, if if you know it's zone, watch this ghost route. Look how look at what it does. It's going to pull the spy to him. It's also going to pull the vertical hook, or I'm sorry, the hook curl all the way down. The hook curl can't make any play on this ball. So what you'll see users do, especially when they're facing gun bunch, is they'll they'll throw a hard flat on the left side. And then they'll basically man this guy up, and then they'll keep that that middle um, middle curl from like a cover three scenario. So it might look something like this. This is what I see all the time uh, when I'm running this when when I'm running this basic combination. This is the coverage that you're going to see. And then what they're going to probably do is they're probably going to user um, this guy right here. So they're going to user this guy, and just to mimic this, we're going to throw him into a hook curl. But what you'll see is, because they're basically saying we can take this away with man up and then that middle shade right here. Like, this is a decent setup against Bunch. What I want to show you, and, and what is what you're going to find very popular with this, is if you throw that ghost route on the field, then what's going to happen is you see how it's going to hold that hook and it gives you that window to be able to throw that ball to the left of the screen wide receiver against that zone. So, all in all, guys, this is a very, very effective route combination that you can use you can mix in different things like ghost routes or option routes if you want to pull down those yellow zones but i love this little shoot flat um it just it's just one of those like industry standard kind of things it's like if you're running bunch you need to be able to hit this route right here if you can hit this route right here um, especially if you can learn how to throw it and really what it boils down to is as you're anticipating him cutting to the outside right there that's when you want to hit it you want to try to hit a rat catch and you want to try to get it up field for a quick four to five yards same thing on the right click on and you can oftentimes catch it even if the defense is in the right defense and that's to me some of the things that make bunch so good when you mix this play in at the right time you're going to find a ton of success this is going to be what i call a constraint theory play basically a play that you can go to that you know is going to work um, not something that you have to like, it's not a power play by any means, you know, it could be, but it's just a simple play that can really help you, uh, just laser up and down the field and gun bunch, especially if you need, need something to call. I find this to be one of the best plays in Madden 21 this year. So that is how you run flood. If you have a slot o matic or if you have a route technician, I would highly recommend putting them in Chris Godwin's position. That inside slot receiver, um, is going to be, you know, on those routes right there. But other than that, guys, we have our um, a full scheme coming out of the Gun Bunch in our text and message membership tonight. Um, so be sure to text me so you can get that video. Um, we're going to break down the entirety of the Gun Bunch. It's going to be really, really in depth. I'm really, really excited about it. We're going to show you how to have cover three, you know, one play touchdowns pretty much against every coverage in Gun Bunch. And we're going to show you the art of flipping the bunch and what does that actually mean for your offense. So if you want to get that video, um, really, really excited to put that together for you guys. Just text me so you can get signed up for that. My number is 812-216-3644. Also, if you have not joined our Discord, there's a link in the description to do that as well. And if you would like a little bit more of an in-depth coaching session, maybe a one-on-one -on -one personalized coaching session, I am 
uh, offering those right now. So you can pick that up in the description below. All right, guys, we'll see you tonight.